Hi, welcome to learn how to garden.com. In today's film, we're going to show you how to prune lavender. If you're not already subscribed to me at Learn How to Garden, there's a link appearing directly above me right now. Click on that link and just input your email address. You'll get all the written posts I write at Learn How to Garden. You'll get the longer, more detailed films that go onto the website. You can find out about those really specialist courses that everybody's talking about and what is this monthly gardening club that gives you so much information. What we're looking at here is a beautiful English lavender plant that's growing in um, a nice tall pot. And we can grow lavender in containers or we can grow it in the ground, but wherever we grow it, pruning it is exactly the same. And we prune for two things. One, to take off these amazing flowers. And the flowers smell exquisite, but of course they're incredibly useful in the kitchen. We can cook with them, make a great ice cream with them. Uh, they go really well with chicken. They make a fantastic ice cream. But wherever you grow it, you need to prune it. Otherwise it will get very straggly. Uh, it'll stop producing as many flowers and it'll get a bit out of control. The first thing we need to do is focus in here and you can see that as lavender gets older you get this brown older wood and what you don't want to do is cut back so that all you have is brown wood. The lavender won't regenerate from that, you're likely to lose it. So with lavender it's a matter of starting how you mean to go on. So if we open up here and let's say we look at this shoot, each year we want to reduce each of these shoots by between a half and two thirds. We can do our pruning at one of two times. We can do it in the autumn if we live in an area that doesn't get very severe frost. If we get very very bad frost then perhaps we're better to do it in the late spring. And take some secateurs and on each of our shoots start to take off between third and two thirds and what we're aiming for is to finish with a slightly rounded domed shape. As you're doing this any of these shoots that haven't had flowers on keep because you can propagate lavender very very easily from the non-flowering shoots. So I'll just go over and prune this into shape. So that gives you your domed shape. The next thing you want to do is look for any pieces that are dead and obviously they need to come out, they're not going to grow back. And nothing could be easier. You keep a nice domed shape and we do this at least once, sometimes twice a year. And if we do that with our lavender, we can actually keep our lavenders growing quite happily for about 15, 20 years. If you want more lavender plants, what we need to look for are some of these tiny little side shoots. And very quickly you can turn these side shoots into small plants like this. And to watch the film on that, if you go to learn how to garden, there's a film called How to Take Lavender Cuttings.